thinking got me thinking How can I come up and get myself a Hey, hey, it's the Lincoln Addict here. So uh, I know a few people have had this happen to them and I will be the first to tell you I messed up. When I took the, pulled the motor, the bolts that hold kind of the near the bottom of the bell housing, they weren't fully, they weren't removed. There were like two of them left, which resulted in me breaking the bell housing. And in turn, when the motor was being jacked up on the lift, on the hoist, I should say, it resulted in the hamster wheel getting crushed. Now, you could look at this as a bad thing or a good thing. The good thing is I probably wouldn't have taken it out if it hadn't gotten messed up. So this results in me taking it out. And obviously I would have taken out the blower motor there. You can see it's pretty nasty. But you know, it's, it's just one more thing you got to deal with and it's not the end of the world. You can't see them there. You can see the one side. There's just, there's two screws, one on each side on the bottom. And then there's two nuts. You see one on each side that I've already removed. Those have to be taken off from the outside. Those from the inside. Now I'll show you this. So if you've been watching any of the videos I've been posting, I haven't wanted to really go into the inside of the car until I got everything done out there. This car was untouched. So there's a piece that runs the length of here and you'll see one little fragment of it left here, which is right there. See the black and it's like an insulation. And you know, I know some of the purists are gonna be like, oh man, what'd you do? There's a ton of insulation in this car, in these cars, as you know. I mean, all kinds of stuff to keep them quiet and whatnot. So I had a pain trying to pull out that tab. You see right there in the middle, it actually has, I think this cap was on it. Yeah, actually I do know that cap was on it. And that pulled right off. And I spent a little less than five minutes trying to pull that out. I don't know if there's a trick, if it pushes in and twists, someone will know. I couldn't figure it out. So I said to myself, once I get to a certain point, all this carpet's coming out anyways, it's getting all sound deadening material down, it's gonna be really, really nice. So, you know, it's it was nice that it was an untouched piece, none of this stuff's ever been taken out, but again, what are you gonna do, you know? It's old, it's nasty. Hate to even breathe this shit in because <laughs> you can see it flaking off. But right here, you can see that that was like the padding. And again, it's, you know, heat from the motor coming through the firewall, you know, whatever they want to call it type insulation, uh, you know, for whatever, whatever they were thinking back in the day. But so um, regardless, I went ahead and I started breaking that piece apart. And over here, You have to break the piece that's it come because it comes up to here, right? And you will see it's kind of hard right there. That hole, you have this guy right here, and you'll see these at the end, you know, on the outside. You know, they're pretty long. And what I did is I, I used a little driver deal. This isn't the right size, but um, I used the driver. Uh, which is right here. I have sixteenths, and something I've never really used, but I picked up at a swap meet yard sale deal. This nice flexible deal, and I said, you know what? This is going to be perfect because if you look here, where the plastic's at. I mean, if you had some extensions, yeah. I mean, you could come all the way back here with it. You you would have been fine, but having this. That's flexible, that has the drive in it with a basic uh, drill. That one came out in a matter of a couple seconds. And then on this side, that padding goes behind the ductwork that goes under the, the carpet. And kind of see it right up there, right above that little button. If I remember correctly. Yeah. So you take those two out and then you go to the outside. 
And then, as I mentioned, you take these two out here, you take those two out down there. Well, those two were from the inside. And then we're gonna pull this apart. This, of course, you have to loosen, which I already did that. That was the easy part that weeks ago. And so check it out. So I would be easy on this. And you can kind of see where it had, you know, it's kind of almost like suction cut to it. If something's been on there for 55 years. And just want to be easy with it. And then there you go. I mean, like I said, the, the good of it is with me breaking the bottom. I'm actually going to, I just was talking with a buddy of mine in text. I, I think I might use some sort of epoxy, but this thing for whatever reason, some of the purists may know, this thing has got like a nasty oil all over it. You can kind of see it in there, but um, because I broke this, what I'll end up doing is blowing this thing apart. Of course, repainting this nice black, you know, replacing anything here. And then it gives me a little bit more access down here, like this guy here is broken, which is, I think, the AC drip vent tube. So, you know, again, I wouldn't have probably messed with any of this if I didn't do this. So count your blessings, right? All right, y'all. Hey, hey, it's the Lincoln Attic. So here's some photos. Once got that apart, overall, this piece had just pretty much fallen inside. So I took that out, discarded it, and for the most part, moved into just documenting some of the photos here. Once the piece was fully removed from the firewall, you could kind of see I could get a little bit better photos. Looked pretty nasty overall. I knew I wanted to clean this up, as I mentioned in the video. So basically, you could see, I don't know why it gets so much like grit and grime in there, but regardless, what I ended up doing was essentially taking photos so I could go back, as Nathan Wilson from Driving Dreams always mentions, you can always go back and, uh, you know, document and look at your photos on how to put something back together. Now, this pre this piece was pretty simple, but once I got it apart, I used some soap and water and uh, some royal purple as well as a couple other, you know, just light detergents that I had to clean this thing up. Now, I knew right away that I wanted to really clean up the blower motor, so I took these couple photos just to show the before. I took over the housing of my buddy Paul, so thanks, Paul. You see him here. He helped. Overall, he had the idea, hey, let's just uh, JB weld it. It came out really nice. We made sure that it was solid inside and out. Now, the blower motor, what I thought w was intriguing here is the motor, or excuse me, the fan itself. It had some surface rust on it, but what I ended up doing is I took a vice grip. I made sure I got the right side Allen, uh, right size Allen. And then I stuck it through right there, and I was able to turn it. You know, I had to get a little bit of a torque on it. Once I was able to pop that off, I had to put a screwdriver underneath and kind of pop the actual fan off, and this is what I was left with. Obviously, these two screws would remove that uh, piece, and then I was down to just the blower motor itself. Now, I was over at Tony Boss Bolins yesterday, so... Uh, I recently purchased a new bench grinder, but I used the bench grinder at his place. Uh, you see here where uh, this was just a quick video I showed, or I took to show what I was doing. But basically, I cleaned up from top to bottom. I spent, I don't know, maybe 20 minutes, and all the rust was pretty much gone. And you can see the top uh, casing piece, uh, the, the end pieces, if you will. They came out really, really nice. I also did that to the fan here that you see. And, of course, couldn't do that on the inside of the fan, but really kind of cleaned it up and made it look a lot nicer. I also did it to this piece, knowing I was going to paint this piece black, which I did. You'll see, I think, here in the end, I have another photo. That's how the three pieces uh, came uh, together. Now, I ended up painting this just a clear coat, so don't hate on me. I decided I wanted to just clear coat it for whatever reason. I didn't want to paint it black, and I kind of got it all back together last night. And that photo there was basically a night shot. And here's the finished product. So hopefully you like these videos. Uh, the main thing is getting it out. It wasn't that tough. Then you're able to clean it up, basically you know repair it if, there, if there's any damage, and then reinstall it. So Lincoln Addict, make sure you check out the Lincoln Addict podcast. 
on your favorite podcast app. And uh, thanks for those that are watching. Make sure you subscribe to my channel. Take care. ODB out.